What's up gamers, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can set up PlayStation 4 emulation on the Lenovo Legion Go. This is from Shad PS4. You can play games like Bloodborne which I'll showcase running on this device as you guys have seen. If that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. So in order to get this one to work, you just need to open up a browser. You need to go to the website here which I'll post in the description below. You want to go here and you want to download the Windows QT version of this. So once you do so, you'll see it right here. Next, you just want to open up the folder where you have it downloaded. As you can see, it's right here. Next, you just want to hold the touchpad and then you want to extract all. Once you do so, you should see a folder like this that says Shad PS4 Win64 QT. So we just want to open this up. And then in the bottom right here is where you actually see the Shad PS4 emulator. So we're going to open this up. So as you can see here, I have Bloodborne here, but let's just go to settings and I'll show you guys how to actually get your games on here. So if we go to settings right here, we go to config. I have mine here to enable full screen. This gives you full screen when you open the game up. So to the graphics, I have mine set at AMD Radeon graphics. I left it at 720p here. Using nothing here and input. I just left everything the way it was. It's pretty cool because this automatically detects the Lenovo Legion Go controllers. So in order to actually get your game on here, it's very simple to do. So you just want to hit file. You want to go to install package. And here you want to just select the folder where your games are stored. So I'm just going to go to download here. I'm going to open up Bloodborne like you guys have seen here. And I'm just going to open it up and then click this is going to install it. And if you have a game that requires a patch, you have to install as well. And you do it from the same method. You just go to file again and you go to install packages and you just want to click on the patch as well. Now, Bloodborne is one of these games that do need the patch to run. I struggled to get this one to run because originally I didn't have the patch. But once you have the patch, it updates to version 1.09 and pretty much you should be good to go. You don't need any firmware. This is actually pretty simple to run. So if you want to get mods in this game, you just want to hold the trackpad on the game right here and this should pop up. And here you can just go to cheats and patches. And here's where you'll be able to install all the mods. So I have a 60 FPS mod, skip intro, all this stuff. Once you're done with that, hit save. And then it saves for you like you see right here. And that's pretty much it. I can't tell you guys where to get the games or the patches. You guys are going to need to search for that one yourselves. But as you can see here, this is Bloodborne. We're just going to open it right up. And we're going to hit play. All right, we're going to go to the offline mode here. We're going to go to continue. And you guys will see for a PlayStation 4 emulator, this one actually runs pretty well. So here we have MSI Afterburner, and you see this one's at 50 FPS here, 40 FPS. It does take a little bit for the uh, cache to build up, but once it does so, you see this is a pretty good experience on the Lenovo Legion Go. Yeah, it's pretty impressive to see a PS4 emulator run on the Legion Go. I think the PS3 struggles at times, but this is PS4, and you've seen it run quite well on here. But that is how you get PlayStation 4 emulator to run. Let us know in the comments below what are your thoughts. Are you guys going to give this a try? Do you guys have any questions about it? All right, fellas, that's all we have for you guys. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Till next time, peace out.